Hello everyone, it's Philip from the Polygonic team and today I'm going to show you how to install the traffic add-on for Blender. First, go to Edit, Preferences, and locate the add-on tab. To install the add-on successfully, please make sure there is no previous traffic version installed. If you are updating, first delete the previous version and restart Blender. Then click on the Install button at the top right and specify your file location. Make sure you or your operating system didn't unzip the file beforehand. Click on the Install button and wait for a few seconds for Blender to utilize the add-on. Then enable the add-on by clicking on the grayed out checkbox and if you want to see further information you can click on this arrow and here you can modify the settings, access the telemetry, delete the add-on and move the add-on location. To use the traffic add-on, you first have to access the polygonic bar. This can be achieved by clicking on this little arrow on the right side of the screen or optionally by pressing the N key on your keyboard. Here you can see the polygonic bar. The traffic bar is on top. If you have any other polygonic add-ons, they all show up in here. By expanding the bar, you are presented with multiple of choices. We are going to spawn a new asset. Click Spawn Asset and choose between the provided categories. Then click on the Preview and the whole category will be presented to you. Choose the vehicle you want to add and click on OK. Now, let me take you through the lighting system and the vehicle appearance options. Let's start with the lighting system. To enable it, you first have to make sure the Light Support checkbox is checked when spawning the asset. Just note that the light support currently works only in Cycles Engine. When your vehicle is spawned and is selected, a new tab appears in the traffic bar, the light control panel. Here you can tweak the different light settings. This also works when you select multiple vehicles and it shows you the different light modes that were assigned to them. So let's change all the cyclic card light modes to high beam. It's easy as that. The second thing I'm going to show you is the snap to ground feature, which takes the selected assets and pins them as close to the face below as possible. And it saves you time when manipulating with the scene. And finally, the appearance options of the vehicles. When you spawn the vehicle, the add-on randomly generates color for it. If you wish to change the color of the vehicle in the spawning mode, just uncheck the random color checkbox and then click on the color selection button and proceed with selecting the color you want. If you want to change the color after the fact, you use the random color selection or you want to revert back to the random color, you can do so in the color tab that appears when you select the vehicle. It is just above the lights control panel. Here you can see the name of the car and next to it a color selection button. When you click on it, interface you are already familiar with appears. When you select multiple vehicles, you can see them all listed here. The change color of all button located on the top of the color tab lets you change the color of all the selected vehicles. When you click on it and choose the color you want or use the random color, all the vehicles you selected apply the options. I hope you found the video tutorial helpful. See you next time.